Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on 539. So, kind of just stumbled upon this place, looked pretty interesting, uh, seems to have some uh, different features than what I'm uh, normally uh, finding, and uh, it's a really just a graveyard next to a church here, looks really old and historic, and so, I, I don't know, it just felt like I might find something unique here. So we're going to try it out, we're going to see what we can find, and uh, might be a really interesting place. So it seems like there actually used to be a building here behind. And I saw a few markings uh, with the name of this church behind me here. And some of them are just empty uh, sort of wooded areas now. So I think at one point the church has been relocated. Already I'm starting to wonder about this here. It seems like a great area for stuff to hide actually all kinds of berry bushes and flowers and lots of wildlife but i don't know kind of looks clean and from right here it looks like a fairly typical 1800 style uh, graveyard but up along this tree here seems to be a different type of section, a different type of, I don't even know exactly. I just kind of noticed it from the road, but we're gonna check out this way first. You can see towards the edge here, it's been getting a little bit rough. See some interesting looking damage. I'm not sure what would have caused it. And then a few memorials that are just laying down, which isn't so abnormal. There is something that seems to have rolled down the hill a little bit. But it looks like it's actually uh, landscaping. You can see, it looks like a decorative stone, and even further on that way are a bunch more. And I thought there was actually a headstone at the bottom, but what it was was a telephone utility box. There are, however, some memorials dangerously close to the brush here and starting to get swallowed up a little bit. It doesn't seem like many of them are in great condition. A lot of them are really, really hard to read. But it's not, again, as you can see, the most terrible place we've been to. Uh, somebody's keeping fairly good condition. And of course the writing on the edges of the memorials here would be the hardest thing to upkeep. So up here is what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's just for decoration. There does seem to be a sign of some sort. Oh no, this is actually what you would normally uh, consider a ground level uh, crypt or vault. And you can see, if you go back here, there is a memorial in uh, dire need of some uh, clearing here but the slab behind actually looks really good well we can uh, go down the hill here a ways and actually see what they look like beneath the ground usually and obviously this is not something that happened at, uh, due to erosion um, 
maybe slightly, but I would say that it's probably built this way on purpose on the, the hill here. It's really interesting. Kind of interesting that they haven't done anything to fix it because it actually seems fairly easy. And all kinds of these little raspberries here on the uh, top of the grave that have fallen off the trees. But I want to go down here and get a little bit of a look at this. Oh, wow, this actually is older than the previous location that we went to uh, by about three years. And again, it's marked with a name that is not matching the church building here. Right here is another uh, ground level set of, looks like, six uh, ground level vaults here and uh, right by the edge of the road and again kind of strange uh, I would guess that most likely the church here doesn't actually have any control over this place and may in fact just be doing some light maintenance work here but it looks as if nobody's missing here this seems to have four people's names across it here and then down the way there, we have the remaining memorial with two other names. But why it hasn't, or that one memorial hasn't been propped back up after who knows how long, I'm not sure. Maybe it's fairly recent damage. Um, some kind of metal reinforcement is right here. I'm not positive why it's there. It doesn't look like it really is helping anything at all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is walk around this way. I know uh, from the map images on Google Maps that it does continue on back and I can now see some of the memorials uh, becoming visible around the edge of this big, big um, collection of plant life here. And so I'm thinking that they might be some of the original graves that were here but you never again can tell because sometimes the newest stuff is at the back and kind of on a hill is a very hilly area of the midwest and you can see for miles just an epic view so i can tell why they decided to uh, build it here although I, the land was probably donated so they probably don't always get 100% choice in locations when uh, building places like this. So again, nothing incredibly old uh, back here anyway. Still pretty interesting. We'll look around the uh, edges here, see if maybe there's anything sticking out from here. But uh, again, I'm kind of doubting it. It looks like they're actually doing a pretty good job. Uh, this is another thing, I've seen this so much, but again, I don't quite understand it. Um, this one headstone, which you can clearly see has moved some over the years, but it is completely flipped around from all of the other headstones down the row. And so it makes me wonder why sometimes these, uh, different memorials just stick out and looking this way all of these though are pointed that direction almost as if the truly out of place stones are these here so again very strange and right here is uh, a very very amazing looking uh, updated marker here and see the painted lettering and perfectly squared edges here and even a really uh, cool looking cross here at the top so 
So, from the looks of it here, I would guess that originally this may have been one of the stones that has the archway, uh, I mean, stones, excuse me, that had the archway in between. It looks like they're a lot further apart right now, but you can kind of tell from the top here that this is a flat surface uh, that uh, it appears something would have sat on top of. And unless both of them have had the same uh, sort of pinnacle marker on the top fall over and become buried, I think it would be actually a lot more strange if that was the case than for it to actually have moved slightly apart and had one single archway fall from in between. My apologies if there's some focus issues. Um, I'm waiting to get the new microphone for my next camera here, or for the new camera I mean. So uh, occasionally this one becomes out of focus for a little bit and I can't really tell uh, as accurately uh, while looking through the little screen here. I thought that this was going to be something here, but it appears to just be the stump of a tree that's been burnt out. Here are two metal markers. Um, now this one doesn't have dates but it appears that something was here. You can see a little nail has been placed there as if they hammered in some dates at one point and then they came back off. So I'm not really positive why that's like that. to head back this way because it appears that there are some more areas that needed to be documented around the edges here. There's a really large hole here. Something has been digging it looks like. Whatever it is seems to have stopped digging though. There's lots and lots of signs of decorative plants and even things moving throughout the uh, forested area. Well, not forest area, but the brush area there. Uh, but it seems as if the borders to this place are still very accurate. And right here is a good example of kind of what I was talking about with the hill over here. Uh, you can see just how easily these can crack and then they become just like a sled and, and just cruise down the hills. So we're here next to this highly covered up vault. And can't really get a name on this memorial here. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Yeah, definitely okay. And not not too bad condition either. Like that. Again, kind of an issue that could be easily solved with a cheap uh, weed whacker and maybe a little saw or a uh, branch clipper.
and I know it's kind of gross, but you can tell there's a huge raccoon population here. They've been eating all the berries and then hanging out under this tree and uh, kind of just doing their thing. That one there has become really uneven. And then we're back to these here. here that have completely been flattened and fallen over. Another interesting section here. Something's been, uh, how's the dog in a car? Apparently barking at the world. Well, this section has some interesting damage here. Kind of wondering how old this church is too. I should look at the sign and see. A really interesting memorial here. A little bit difficult to read the writing on this one. But I think the most important thing right now would be for them to uh, get rid of a lot of these branches here from whatever this uh, tree is. And it does look at like at one time it actually was cut down but then uh, this is probably why they actually burn out stumps because these new branches have sprouted from the stump Just barely a chunk left of this. 
another place that really unless they have permanent records on file it would be real difficult to tell exactly who is there And another whole, it looks like family section, because you can kind of tell that there is a slab that's connecting all of them. And then I would say at some point the tree grew directly from underneath somehow, probably just from a random small sapling that maybe even the people here didn't realize was growing until it was too late. Because it just doesn't have the appearance of being a normal tree that was just uh, planted for decorative purposes. And here's some sort of machinery. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. I think there's somebody actually in the church cleaning right now. But I don't see any cars here. So unless somebody literally walked from down the street, which wouldn't be the most unusual thing ever, then it would seem as if there shouldn't be anybody in the building. Or maybe they were uh, dropped off. I don't really know. There's a Appears to be a homemade stone here. I'm gonna take a look from the other side at this gigantic monstrosity here, which again, uh, I almost guarantee was originally intended as just a little center landscaping item of some sort uh, or it was used as a debris pile for many many years and just sort of uh, grew into its own animal of sorts uh, but I mean crazy the growth back here um, Let's see all the thousands upon thousands of branches coming off of these larger central branches and rarely do I see anything this overgrown. So you can tell there's actually a way into the center, probably made by animals chewing through it. And no sign of headstones anywhere in here though. I think they've done a really good job here. I do over here see a few looks like decorative uh, items but overall really clean. As you can see I've done no damage to the flowers so don't worry anybody. I'm not trying to do any damage to anything or anyone. Although Somebody is randomly honking at me. It's actually the second person that's drive drove by and and honked. Huh. Almost looks like some ceramic of some sort right there. And then part of an old glass bottle right there. Still zero memorials, zero headstones. Yeah, completely clean. That's really good news. Uh, always great to see. Uh, usually I just expect that there's gonna be all kinds of stuff hidden in there and uh, it just uh, have been a ignored spot, but looks like uh, just not the case here. I did want to look at this real quick. I don't know. 
it's hard to tell exactly what this is. A little open area might have been where another church stood at one time, but I really have no indication or proof of that. It might just be excess parking barriers that have been placed back here, so who knows. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this edition of 5 at 3 9. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss a single episode. As I always say, we're doing four episodes every single week now and coming to amazing and historic places just like this one here today. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next adventure.